Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I would start off today with a little bit of a skin update. So if you have not yet watched my health story video, I will put a link to that right up here. I have been dealing with atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, for the past six years. And I made some tweaking to my diet, avoiding gluten, I've been minimizing dairy, and I've also really been laying low on legumes like beans and lentils and whole nuts and seeds and whole grains like brown rice. All of these can be quite hard to digest for a compromised digestive system. My digestion improved, has been improved like, uh, it's done a complete 180. So all of the rashes that I had on my body are gone. I'm still in shock that like my body is my body again. I don't think about itching literally all day long anymore. But today what I'm going to do is take you along grocery shopping with me. Okay, so we are home obviously and I have laid out the grocery shop for you. All these ingredients tend to make it a lot easier for me to just throw something together, you know, any night of the week and often that means making sure that I have some healthy fat, some protein and some healthy carbs on hand. So when it comes to healthy carbs, what I'm talking about are starchy vegetables. So we've got some butternut squash here and sweet potato. Put them in the oven or I boil them or I steam them. It's a veg, of course. So I always try to stock up carrots, cucumber, celery, zucchini, different colored peppers, leafy greens. So we have baby spinach and we have arugula, some bok choy. So getting a variety of leafy greens into our diet. We've got fruit, we have some kiwis, we have, I like to try different fruits because I kind of get stuck in the habit of like apple, banana, orange, you know? So today I got a honey melon smoothie mix, some frozen berries, some frozen bananas ready to go. That is easy. We've got a, picked up a few avocados, of course, because we all know how delicious they are and how easy they are to have for snacks and salads and smoothies. Fresh ginger is a massive staple for me. Fresh ginger tea, I make soups with ginger in them. I love the anti-inflammatory properties of ginger and it's really good for digestion, settling your stomach. Lemons and limes, I, I make my own salad dressing always. Uh, so those get added in. Fresh salsas, you name it. I stay away from whole nuts and seeds for the most part because like I've mentioned, they are a little bit tough on the digestive system. So instead I like to get nut or seed butter. So this is an almond butter. I've got some pumpkin seeds. These I will grind up and I will put them on top of my salad or in a smoothie bowl. A brown rice pasta, which is really good. So we do keep regular wheat pasta as well. And some nights I just feel like a good old fashioned spaghetti. And yeah, then that's what we make. Otherwise I try to fix my pasta cravings with a brown rice pasta. Beans, as I said, I'm not eating these a ton at the moment, but I do still like to have beans and lentils on hand. Bring them boxed like this, just uh, drain them, give them a really good rinse. Tofu, perfect for stir fries or faux soup or some feta cheese. I mentioned I don't eat a ton of dairy, but I do keep feta on hand. Eggs, of course, great source of protein. 
Tuna. I always like to have a couple cans of tuna on hand. They are so easy to throw into salads, throw into a pasta. I just like to choose the ones that are MSC certified, the Marine Stewardship Council. And this is a certification that they're either wild caught or they are from sustainable fisheries. Now, you might be wondering, where is the meat if you don't eat that much plant-based? So we get a regular meat box delivery, and this is all grass-fed organic meat that comes delivered from the farm to our door. If you have something nearby to you like that, I totally recommend doing it. It's so much more nutritious and better for your body. When it comes to seafood, I like to pick up fresh fish regularly. Usually we'll pick Arctic char or cod, something along those lines. If you missed the episode where I was cooking an easy weeknight dinner, I will link that over here. We have coconut milk, easy to throw into a curry. We have almond milk, which I always throw into my smoothies. Coconut oil and olive oil, of course. Having some oils on hand are staples. These are my two go-to. Olive oil, of course, so multi-purpose, and coconut oil I tend to use in baking or if I'm making a curry or something with coconut milk. For baking, I use buckwheat flour. So buckwheat flour is a great staple to have on hand. It is gluten-free, it is nut-free. Dark chocolate is one of my go-tos when I need a little sweet treat. Often in the evenings we'll have a square after dinner and 85% cocoa. The higher the percent of cocoa, the less sugar will be in there and quite frankly, the more delicious it will be. All right guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me along on this grocery shop. I love getting to share healthy food inspiration with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up every week I put up a new video. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you here next week. Bye for now.